Okay, today is March the 29th, 2016, and at about uh, 9.50 p.m. in Los Angeles, we have a temperature of 42 degrees. The relative humidity is 95%. The dew point is 41 degrees, and the barometric pressure is 29.91, or about uh, 1,000 and... Uh, 13 millibar, 1,013 millibar. Okay, so we had uh, one eighth of an inch of rain, just about one eighth of an inch of rain today. And we had a little snow in the mountains, uh, Lake Arrowhead, uh, Big Bear, those areas got a little bit of snow. And that's from this uh, system right here. This is pretty much stationary. It hasn't moved a whole lot, just maybe a little bit to the uh, east. We can see that there is a transmitter right here uh, focusing uh, energy right down on top of this area, and that is uh, preventing this jet stream flow, which is uh, moving right along here and then uh, turning up, and it should be dropping right back down and feeding into this uh, core. But uh, there is heat being applied from a either a harp transmitter or some other type of transmitter that's generating a lot of heat right here. That is a man-made feature, this big crescent of high pressure, and that is a cutting off, that's actually evaporating the moisture that would normally be winding right down on the jet stream and back in uh, right here on uh, into uh, Southern California. Let's take a look at the, uh, the infrared loop. We can see what's happened here as this uh, moisture field moves up on the jet stream and back down, and there's just a huge void here uh, where things should be uh, wrapping right back around. Now, there is jet stream flow here, but there's just a very dry air mass moving uh, through here. Let's take a look at the, uh, here is the jet stream itself, and we can see that uh, pattern cuts up here, turns to the north, and then comes right back down uh, through uh, Washington and Oregon and right back into Southern California. But the uh, problem is they've got this transmitter parked right here, and that is just drying everything out. So we're not, we're not, uh, we're not seeing any, any rain, uh, further rain. We, we got a tiny amount, not even just barely an eighth of an inch. Okay. Let's go back to the infrared loop. We can see that whole dry area. There's just nothing moving down on that jet stream, right? Right all through here. All right. You go back to the uh, water vapor loop. And we can see that uh, transmitter right here. And we have, We've had a stationary high pressure all for uh, 10, 12 days, 13 days, right all through here. We've got a, uh, a storm system out here, and we've got a system right here. So there's two systems, and we've got high pressure. This is going to remain in place in order to uh, separate these two systems. Also, uh, the jet stream is moving up and around here, and it's mushrooming into an area right here. This is all high pressure. This is another phased array radar, which is cut a, a border, a path, a, a channel right through here. And if we go to the uh, back to the, the infrared uh, map, we can see that a big uh, channel that's been carved out by that uh, transmitter right here. And that is preventing all this uh, moisture from winding back down into that core. All right. Uh, let's take a look next at the uh, Western U.S. water vapor loop. And we can get a better view of what's happening. There's low pressure right here. This should be uh, dumping a lot of rain and snow in California and in Southern California. But uh, what they have set up here is a, uh, a high pressure blockade, and that will remain in place as long as this here is a, is a threat to more rain. We've got more rain, a, a lot more rain on the way right here, and, and uh, it's not going to move in because we've got this blockade right here, this high pressure. All right, let's go to the next map. This is the infrared map for the western U.S., and we can see the, the clearing made, this uh, big channel that's been uh, built out using radar, which generates heat, and that evaporates all the water, water vapor. All right. Also, we have uh, tropical moisture moving in right through here, and if we go back to the a water vapor loop, we can see that this uh, channel of high pressure is also serving because the way they've got it set up here, it's carving a big path through here, 
that will prevent this tropical moisture from uh, winding in to the core uh, right here from the south. So they've got this protected up here from the jet stream flow. They're blocking the jet stream flow, diving back down. As we just saw, this is doing a big horseshoe pattern and it's not winding into this core because they've got high pressure, uh, a big channel of high pressure all through here. And then, and then down here, we can see what they've done here as well. So they're surrounding this core with, with hot air. And uh, so it will not intensify because of, of uh, they've built a, a basically a blockade all the way around that whole system, except for the back side here. All right. Let's take a look next at the, uh, this is the uh, surface analysis map. And we can see the, uh, this offshore uh, weather system. This is a, a gale. We've got a gale identified in a couple of different places with three separate troughs, 985 millibar core pressure. There's actually two lows with a big cold front. And uh, this seems to be stationary at the moment. Uh, this low is moving to the uh, west. This one here apparently is just uh, stationary. We've got high pressure all through here. Uh, now this high is moving to the north, and that will leave uh, this area here to defend and block this system. So they're they're going to the mission is to block these rain systems from moving directly into California. That's been the mission all along, and that's why we've had a drought for the last four years. But now we're calling them on their uh, plans, what they're doing. We're watching this every day, trying to post videos every day, uh, showing uh, what they're doing. Or activities. Okay, so we've got high pressure here, and uh, we uh, this this will block for the time being. We'll have to watch this. This is a much lower pressure down here than this 1,031 millibar up here. So this will probably be pumped up, and they're probably doing that right now. We'll have to watch and see what happens uh, if this is going to be allowed to move in. Probably not. Uh, we'll just keep an eye on things. Here is the uh, sea level pressure analysis. Same thing. We have a low pressure out here. We've got high pressure all through here. And that is, uh, for the time being, blocking the uh, eastbound movement on this system. And we've got that low pressure right there, which is centered over Colorado at that uh, sea level. Okay, next we have 500 millibar. The low is centered right over Nevada and uh, Utah. We've got a high up here. All right. Next, we have the 300 millibar. And we'll have to just keep an eye and see what happens with this uh, low. This is a very large low pressure system. We still have fairly low pressure, 29.91 here in the foothills. Now let's take a look at the MODIS today map. Um, now this is, a, this is zoomed out quite a bit uh, so we can see the bigger picture. Um, on the left, we have the natural clouds, this brilliant white area. These are natural clouds. And of course, we can see the chemtrail mix right here. These are all streaks. All this stuff here is all chemtrail mix all through here. And they were just spraying all through uh, the uh, Baja, Mexico area. We can see that all through here. Let's move this over a little bit. And we can see the, uh, the effort that was made today to spray uh, Mexico. All of this is all chemtrails. And if we go, uh, if we look at the, uh, if we go to just, just go to MODIS today and you can uh, select the national maps, which the map you want to look at, the northwest, southwest, or the central. And uh, basically this, this uh, field of chemtrails extends well into Mexico. And uh, so they really got hit today hard. Now Los Angeles is right here. And we can see that uh, there's a lot of natural clouds in the pictures. And, uh, okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, all of the chemtrailing today was done uh, off of Mexico and all over Mexico. And actually some of it, what we can see here, is in uh, Arizona. Okay. Uh, last, let's take a look at the uh, SSEC geostationary uh, satellite image. We can see the uh, situation here offshore. We have a huge second big storm moving in. And uh, we'll have to see what develops. We have one here and one here, and, and this high pressure is starting to 
uh, break apart a little bit. We have that one high moving to the north, and so that means they're going to have to pump the, uh, the lower high up somewhat to block this. We'll have to see what they do. Um, and then we have this tropical field of moisture, which is being blocked, as we were talking about up here. They're blocking that from feeding the system. All right. So that's the summary for tonight. Uh, we did get a little bit of rain, but uh, not nearly enough um, because of this man-made intervention here. We've got these transmitters, which are interfering with the, the jet stream flow. They're manipulating the jet stream flow. We can see that here with this stationary high pressure that's uh, redirecting the jet stream up here. And then it's being blocked here by this channel of high pressure all through there. And that would uh, feed this system and keep this going. And uh, deliver a whole lot of rain that we need. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we will uh, do another one tomorrow.